What's up vapors? Thanks for checking out Spin Fuels Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at AM Junction. So I have three new cereal based flavors to try out for you guys today. A uh, new line from Savage High VG called AM Junction. And before we begin I do want to give a huge shout out to Jay Fugazi and the guys over at Savage High VG for letting me do this review. Uh, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate that. Uh, so the tagline is uh, premium cereal flavored vape always on time. That's the, the little tagline they have on the top of the page there. Uh, and these are, you know, kind of the classic look to the bottles. Really nice old timey kind of looking uh, trains on there, which is pretty neat. Uh, so these are three different cereal uh, flavors uh, in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams of nicotine and the price point for a 30 mil bottle is $18.30. Now the first one I have for you today is uh, the Express. Uh, the PG VG ratio on this one is 60 VG 40 PG and it's basically pretty basic flavor profile a fruity cereal crunch vape. There you go. That's it. Uh, so I have it loaded up in the Ego One with the Kanger uh, Subtank Nano on top, all ready to go. So let's go ahead and have our first vape. So as you guys probably already know, I'm not the biggest fan of cereal vapes, but I did want to give this line a shot because I was kind of curious about it. I love a lot of the flavors coming from Savage High VG, so I figured why not give this one a try as well. And I gotta say, I was pretty pretty impressed with this one. Uh, I really do like the mix ratio. For 60-40, you still get plenty of vapor production. The flavor's on point, and it's all there. You get a nice, rich flavor to it. Um, nothing tastes too artificial to me, personally. And it's that nice kind of Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles kind of flavor. It's overall very, very satisfying. And for all you cereal lovers out there, uh, I think this one would definitely be for you. Uh, not the all-day vape, but I can definitely see myself vaping the stuff in the morning, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and have another vape. Alright guys, so for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a 4. It's a pretty good overall flavor. It doesn't taste, you know, funky to me whatsoever. It doesn't taste too like chemicals or anything like that. Really get that kind of natural cereal kind of flavor to it. Uh, very, very good way to start the morning, I can tell you that much. Uh, so for the flavor 4, for the vapor production, I'll give this a three and a half. Uh, it's pretty decent for 60-40 blend, uh, but you can definitely tell the difference between a 60-40 and the 70-30 or their high VG line. Um, so that being said, I'll give it a three and a half for the vapor production and for the throat hit, it's right on point to where I like it at three milligram and I applaud them for doing that even at a 60-40 ratio. Uh, I'm to the point now where I can usually tell the difference between 50-50, 60-40, 70-30, max VG, all that stuff. And they did a really good job with this. So for the, uh, the throat hit on this one, I'll give it a four and a half. Uh, so that does it for the Express. Let's move on to our next flavor. All right, guys, so the next flavor on our list is Zephyr. Uh, this flavor is also mixed in 60 VG, 40 PG. Uh, the flavor description is a cereal berry crunch vape. So again, very, very basic, basic flavor description. But you can definitely get the drift uh, when you actually smell this stuff. It smells just like crunch berry cereal. And that's what I'm imagining they were going for with this one. So let's go ahead and have our first vape. So my first initial impression of this stuff is I definitely get that nice sweetness on the inhale. I really get a lot of sweetness to this one. Um, I do get a little bit of that berry kind of flavor to it and the cereal on the exhale is, is really nice. Uh, it's almost artificial tasting though at the end. That initial flavor that you get on the inhale is really nice, that sweet berry flavor. And then the exhale kind of tastes like a generic kind of cereal vape. But overall, it's not such a bad flavor. I could see myself vaping this one in the morning once again, but I can't really do the cereal vapes all day. They're too, you know, wholesome for me personally. I like the, the candy, the sweet, the melon, the fruit, all that stuff. Um, not so much the, you know, fruit cereal or anything like that, but this one is actually pretty good. So, um, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, not, not, nothing really sticks out in my mind for this one though. It's just kind of that basic kind of crunch berries flavor. Um, nothing too over exciting about this one. Let's go ahead and have another vape here. Alright guys, so for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a 3. Uh, like I said, just kind of your basic crunch berries flavor. Nothing that really wows me in this one. Uh, but the flavor that's in it is really uh, nice. I do like that initial kind of sweet berry flavor on the inhale. Uh, but other than that, I just kind of get that basic crunch berries. For those of you that like that flavor and are looking for something a little bit different, I do recommend this one. Uh, there's not too many crunch berries on the market, so give this one a shot. 
For the vapor production, I'll give it a four. Not too bad as far as vapor on this one. For a 60-40 blend, you really can't go wrong. And for the throat hit, I'll give it a four and a half. It's right where I like it to be for three milligram. Nothing, you know, too harsh or too, you know, weak or anything like that. So yeah, pretty well done. I really do enjoy these. And let's move on to our next flavor. All right, guys. So the final flavor tonight is going to be the rocket. Now this one is described as a cinnamon toast crunch and milk flavor. Um, kind of curious as to this one. I haven't tried too many cinnamon toast crunches out there, uh, but I know a good cinnamon when I see one. And this one is the only one that's mixed at 70 VG and 30 PG. Uh, so that's something to note there. Let's go ahead and have our first vape. So I definitely noticed the heavy kind of artificial kind of flavor to this one. Doesn't really taste uh, as good as I thought it was going to. I really kind of had high expectations for it, but it left me wanting a little bit more flavor to begin with. The cinnamon that's in it is a little bit sweet, a little bit hot, but overall it's uh, not all there in my opinion. Uh, it could have used a little bit of an extra bump of that sweetness. Uh, I'm sure they didn't want to add too many sweeteners to this stuff and uh, hopefully they didn't. I mean, this one is, you know, fairly clear as far as the color of the liquid goes. It's, you know, a, a nice light amber color and I don't think it'll gunk, gunk up your cotton or your coils too bad, but I feel like it could potentially be the worst offender of the bunch. That being said, uh, really not, not doing it for me for the flavor on this one. Uh, I was... Rather impressed with the other two. This one kind of leaves me wanting a little bit more. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and have another vape. So I know what you're thinking. Is there any other flavor on the market that could even compare to this one? And I'd have to say the Milk 2 by Telios Remix kind of did this uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavor a little bit more justice in saying that you get more of the creaminess as well as a sweeter cinnamon. I uh, really noticed that flavor a lot more than this one here. And unfortunately, uh, for that aspect, I'm going to have to give this a 2 overall for flavor. For the vapor production, however, I am going to bump it up to about a 4.5. I can definitely tell the difference between this one mixed at 70-30 and the rest at 60-40. And for the throat hit, I'll give it a 4.5 as well. So a nice smooth throat hit on this one. Uh, so yeah, uh, overall I did enjoy these flavors. Uh, I like the logos on the bottle and everything like that. It's a pretty nifty looking design. It kind of has that 1940s kind of feel to it. Uh, and I was glad to try these flavors out. I'm not the biggest cereal fan, but for all of you guys that love those cereal vapes, make sure you check these guys out. I'll have the links in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. Make sure you leave a comment below on what you thought of these flavors and whether or not you would purchase them for yourself. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more of my videos. Once I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'll be sure to do a giveaway. We're closing in, so make sure that happens in the very near future. Anyways, guys, that does it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out SpinFuel.com for more of my videos as well as Smoke and Joy and SpinFuel official videos. And as always, vape on!